welcome back to Vampire, everyone. Last time we played this, uh, we buried our sister. And we met another vampire. A big chunky boy. Who warned us to stay in our fucking lane. Lest he rend us. From, uh, in, you know, into many, many vampire pieces. Right. So I've got lots of XP, but... I don't want to level up, because leveling up advances time by one day. And every day that goes by, people get sicker and sicker. And I want to make sure that everyone is healthy. Now, he is recovering. Everyone else seems healthy. This fella's unknown. Have I ever met this fella? Rakesh. Healthy, healthy. Healthy, 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 healthy. Everyone in the hospital seems healthy, apart from Rakesh, who I've never met. So I guess I need to need to find out. Need to meet him. Alright. So, right now we need to go and see Mr. Um, Dr. Swansea. It's locked. It's locked! That's what I was looking at. Codeine. Excellent. Let's just find random codeine. There's an argument going on in there, I think. Let's just uh, go in the... In the cupboards. Right, let's have a little chat. There's an argument. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. All right. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <laughs> By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. Hmm. So, what's, uh, what's occurring? What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead, and several missing. This has spiralled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. <clears throat> hmm. Confidence must be restored. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Hmm. I'll help you. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. Oh dear. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? <laughs> They're not far wrong, to be fair. Well, they are not far wrong. The hospital is almost crawling with vampires. <laughs> Callum is a fanatic. 
The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Very well. So, what do we got? Find Sean Hampton at the East End docks. Okay. So where are where is the East End? There's the East End docks. Okay. Let's go and have a look at the um, the room and see if we can Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Oh, Sean Hampton was the Irish fellow, wasn't he? He was the priest. Oh shit. Okay. Guess we're gonna go kill a priest. That's the way to the morgue. Don't need to go there. Oh dear. Yeah, this is where the priest was at, wasn't it? What on earth happened here? Oh, it was the girl who was um, who was telling everyone about the uh, the vampire. Hmm. Okay. So she was killed. Let's have a chat with these two, shall we? You are going to reveal all your secrets to me, even the darkest thoughts in your heart. My blood and soul. They belong to you now. The life running in your veins. For anyone who's not been here so far, needs it. Oh, she is not actually a vampire. Queen. He is not actually bewitched. They're just. This is just their kink. They, they don't half enjoy that. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Okay, have we got any more stuff? Can you tell me anything about recent events at the hospital? Before the shouts and the noises, I think I heard whispers coming from the stairs. Two voices, maybe more. Did you recognize the voices? What did they say? I couldn't hear. Sounded like they were arguing or something. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. From the stairs, let's go have a chat. Hello, you. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Mm, no, you don't, though. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Dr. Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. Lies. <laughs> okay. Do you require my services, Miss Halcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Doctor Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. Okay. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. He's a bit cracked in the head. Hello, duty nurse. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Mr. Oh, Jones God, it's uh, in the background. I can see it. Away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Oh, dear. Where's Mrs. Jones' body? Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. To be fair, we should probably go to the morgue then. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette <coughs> exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. Okay. Ooh, Tippett's medical error. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's 
in our situation? Hmm, okay. I understand what you did. I can't say I approve of what you did. But as a field surgeon, I know that some situations require you to bend the rules. I'm not proud of what I've done, but to contain the epidemic must be our priority. So we can't afford to lose Dr. Tibbets. Okay. That's fair enough. Hmm. I won't reveal Dr. Tippett's error. I've decided that I won't reveal Dr. Tippett's, shall we say, misdemeanor. I'm so glad you share my point of view. Dr. Tippett's is a brilliant practitioner. We most definitely need his know-how. I hope you're right. This is a huge risk we're taking. Dr. Tippett's must regain his confidence. It is a wild day, you see, Dutte. Welcome in. You and me. He doesn't need to know you found out. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Hmm. Hello, madam. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Um. Should by some savage scalp. Can we share this meal? <laughs> I'm partially responsible. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scowl, I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent, for there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. I'm all right, cheers, Dita. We're just trying to solve a mystery. Um, okay, what do you know of the As uh, Asalon? What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? Holy fuck, ow. Hmm, <clears throat> he was huge. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. Hmm. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Okay. I mean, they, they came to me. I didn't seek them out. Um, difficulty with holy symbols. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is it God's will? Is this a sign? <laughs> the hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Very well. Aren't you frightened? Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. That is. Have you killed this woman? Have you embraced this woman like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they ask. Hmm. Blood quality of the sick. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients. Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Oh dear. Rich blood is appealing. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Very well. Thank you, my lady. 
I hope to see you again soon. Right. Off to the morgue we go. Yeah, lots of blood. Right, so I believe it's over this way. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched. Ooh, this is the fella. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. Oh. I'm sorry where? you ended up on my plane and called to medical. This is a fella I've not met yet. I know where he is now. I just need to get to him. Situation. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the same mass grave as your wife. I hope that might help. Oh, I need to go over there and do it. Okay. Apparently. Uh. Okay. So I need to go over here and do it. Okay. You don't mind if I search your pockets. Oh. Do you, sir? You Neaky bastard. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir. So it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir. And I thank you for your generous donation. Nikki. All right then. Well, let's go and have a chat with the Indian fella. Hello, you little swindler. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Um, <clears throat> right. Can you tell me anything about recent events in the hospital? Oh, goodness me. This whole story is such a shame, sir. I have no idea how it happened. What are you talking about? Poor, poor Miss Jones. Her body is missing. Someone stole it. Her body's missing? Miss Jones's body has gone missing. Yes. The body was brought here this morning, and now it's gone. Who could have done this? Who could have stolen a corpse? That's exactly what I asked myself for the whole day. Who could do such a thing? These are terrible and shameful times, Dr. Reed. Hmm. I mean... Talk about stealing from corpses, uh, this, this fella... Seems to know, to, to know a lot about that. Hmm, yeah. Not afraid of the dead. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. Okay. Most people fear dead flesh. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect for dead flesh. Let's not draw any conclusions, other than we just, we just war, saw him stealing from corpses. I my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Okay. How did you get the job? How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Okay. Do you work here alone? 
you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. <laughs> no, I don't think he stole the corpse, necessarily. The war was still open. <clears throat> Why watch these bodies? Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the morgue? Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Deary me. <clears throat> Have we met before? Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. A funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. <laughs> She's dead, I'm afraid. I killed her. Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Oh dear. Very hard, sir. But I rose to the challenge. You should have refused. Do you realize how many soldiers died because of that decision? You should have refused. Yes, sir. I swear I did, sir. But no one listened. When the first wounded arrived, I had to do what I could. It is an unbelievable story, Mr. Chidana. It was a time beyond belief, Dr. Reed. But I'm happy <laughs> you want to drink to their blood. <laughs> I prefer caring for the dead now. Okay. Uh, you can't impersonate a doctor. You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do you believe you have really helped these people? My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. <laughs> I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? Hmm, weird. Okay, personal questions. You're I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the accusation till last. You're a pawnbroker. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade? Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. This guy's so sus. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. Hmm, this guy is really sus. You've been living life after death. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality? as a concept. I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life and I'd love to be He's a good liar. Even good will. <laughs> he is a good liar. Oh, thank you so much, Mini Mike, for the res uh, for the resub there, the prime sub. Thank you so much. Welcome in. How are you getting on, man? Good will uh good will won't last. Are you ready to die? Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. So you're ready to die? So you're ready to die? No, I am not. 
I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. Okay. I think we found our next victim. Let's accuse him of stealing from the dead. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could be useful for the living. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. <clears throat> show respect for the dead. You should show respect for the dead. What about their loved ones who may treasure these items you sell? The bodies I watch over are the unwanted and undesired, sir. I would never deprive anyone of their family artifacts. <laughs> Selling organs on the black market. I don't think uh, there's an organ black market just yet. Let's, um, let's see. He is healthy. I need a um, mesmerized level of four in order to suck him off. Um, he has no relationships. What's his blood like? 5,000 XP. I've got a mesmerized level of two, so I can't suck him just yet. Unlucky me. Okay. So this is the the docks. So we need to get we're going to go back to the docks, aren't we? So the pillar of the community is Sean, I think. He's the guy who we think is a vampire now. Hmm. Okay. He needs treatment for fatigue. And we do have that. So I think we're gonna go into the docks, meet all of these people, see if we can heal them. All of this lot are healing apart from him and him. Though both of these two need treatments for migraines. Uh, the pillar of the community is dead, sadly. Um, but what can you do? But we do need to get these two migraine sufferers healed, otherwise they're going to die. Okay. Uh, this is a whole different area, an unknown district that we've never, never been to. All right, well, we can't mesmerize you just yet. Let's trade. What do you have? Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. <laughs> just accuse him of being uh, a grave robber and then immediately just go, Ooh, yay. Show me what you have to sell. Okay, so opium. Nice. You love a bit of uh, opium. How many do we have? I wonder. I'm going to buy a little bit of opium, I think. Buy one of everything. Okay. All right, have a nice day. Or well, good evening, you grave robbing bastard. All right, then. Let's go to the docks. Which I believe we get to by going this way. Okay. I'm not letting the, the, uh, the time go yet. I'm only level 11, though, that's the only problem. If we go through there and they're all, like, level 20, we are going to have to come back and evolve. A good detective can always go for a bit of opium. Exactly. So this way, I believe, is the docks. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. I can't let you through. I can't let you through. What level are they? 17, 16. 
We are hor horribly underleveled, to be fair. It's locked, all right. We are horribly underleveled. Right. Rem remember what the buttons are. Oh, there's a fight going on. Suck him off. All right, you motherfucker. Come on then. Nom nom nom. Come on then, bitch. Kill him by sucking him off. Nice. Right, heal up. No, I don't think that was healing. That was another thing. Right, there we go. Lovely stuff. So I've never been here before. Oh, hello, mate. How are you getting on? <laughs> Get sucked. Yoink. Ooh, that's a nice little house, I think. Well, that does that does look really inviting, though. Very nice uh, living room that they've got there. No telly, though. No telly. Hmm. Right, where are we going? Um, so we're actually still in the, in the hospital area. Uh, there's the West End, which we've never been to. So we need to go the other way to get to the docks. Cool beans. Hey motherfuckers, how's it going? Get wrecked? I did just hear gunfire going off. Pretty sure this is the way down to the sewers again. Man, look at all these fucking cool living rooms. Man, I want to. I want to go. Let me go in. Just don't chill by the fire. Okay, so these are the uh, the sewers, I believe. Yeah, boy. There you go. Get wrecked. Mmm, items. My loot sensors. Ooh, a large knife. A large, beautiful knife with a name engraved into the blade. What? This must be Clay Cox's knife. A fine blade. No wonder he wants it back. Ah, so it's Clay Cox's knife. He'll want it back then. Okay, your country, Nigel. There, that's enough, please. She won't be back until at least ten o'clock. Right, let's go back um, to the hospital. And let Clay have it. Oh, 
There you go. Fucking hell. There you go. <laughs> Grab the stuff. Right, Clay's over this way, I believe. Your hospital's over yonder. Is that Clay? No, that's the. Uh, yeah, these two are the uh, the uh, the army fellas. There's Clay. Here, yeah, mate. Hey, Doc. Found your knife. I have found the. Uh gift from your wife in that case you'll be properly rewarded doc clay cox is a man of his word i hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes who knows what i might do now i feel invincible again <laughs> oh dearie me what can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital all i know is i ain't letting anyone rip my throat out of my sleep i found myself a nice play doc <laughs> i'm ready Okay. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Sound. Clay Cox has now got his knife back. He's ready. Ready to defend himself against the vamps. Steady, boys! We've got one of here! That's one of these fuckers. Fuck's sake. Where's my fucking stamina at? Jesus. Oh, you absolute cons. I'm stuck. Oh, wow. I'm actually stuck. Uh. Wow, we get, the game has actually st uh, stuck me here. Uh, is there a... Is, is there a, a, a fast travel? Because uh, I may I may be actually stuck here. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, re return to main menu and then return to main menu and then we'll we'll, we'll load again. Okay. Let's see just what we've uh, what we've lost. I hope I don't have to do that whole fucking thing again. A good morning, brother. How are you getting on? Welcome in. Okay, where was I? I believe. Let's have a look. Uh, where is he? Clay Cox. I think I've done this things. You doing all right? Excellent. Good to hear. Right. This is this is where we were. Piss off. We just need to run this way. Right. Let's go. I'm gonna kill this guy. Well, that little fucker over there. Oh, okay. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. I'm just struggling with this bloody combat here. Would you piss off? I'm behind cover. There you go. Nice. Got him. Right, there we go. And I'm not stuck in some scenery, which is good. Note to self, don't get meleeed whilst you're uh, in a corner. It will almost certainly get you stuck. What? Someone spotted me? Where? 
Where did they spot me? Alright, mate. <laughs> yes, I'm slightly on fire there, that's fine. Slightly on fire. Let's heal up. Pretty sure I just heard a zombie noise down here. Not a zombie. Skull, we call them, don't we? The shit vamps. So where are we? Oh, we're in this back alley here. Okay. This'll work. Get in with Whoa, he's still alive, this fucker. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Run out of stamina on the last attack. I had it planned and everything there. God damn it. The lack of stamina is really getting, getting to me now. I need to really seriously consider... Why am I sucking up a rat? Okay. What's this say? Dead inside? Yeah, quarantine influenza. Some coinage. <clears throat> oh, that's a way in. I cannot enter. Oh. Well, that would have been the back end. To the to the room. Apparently, we just simply cannot go in there. That's a shame. Okay then. To the docks we go. That's the way, I think. Right, mate. Nice. Fuck. Ah, shit, they've got a fucking crossbow, bitch. Bloody flamer. There we go. I can heal myself up now. Oh, well, there is a, a guy over there with a crossbow, but as long as he doesn't come around the corner, we should be fine. Over there! Alright, mate. <laughs> yeah, wrecked. Nice. Alright, welcome to the docks, everyone. Okay. Oh, I can hear a scowl around. Uh-oh. Yep, there's a big boy. Damn it. 
Nom 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 nom. Get sucked up. Just absolutely wrecked him. Sweet. That worked. Oops. Going for that. Ordered uh, by Dr. Faru Strickland, Prembrook Hospital. List of substances and ingredients. Uh, lacquer medical opium. Sodium high hypocrylate, whatever that is. Potassium permagranate. Okay. Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Good. No, a good move. <laughs> Never a good move. I mean, what, what harm has opium ever done anyone? <laughs> really. I will not believe it. All right. There's a way down there. Looks like we can go all the way around that way. Why would we be here? Is there a door we can go through? Is there anything hidden? Well, we can always come back, so that's not a problem. Oh, shit, yeah, we can go straight over if we want. Could have just gone this way. Frankie. Alright, let's uh let's murder some uh some of these bitches. We need to uh, like meet people so that we're not like just murdering people. <laughs> Is that a gate? Where does that gate go? Um Looks like it goes sort of in the rough direction that we need to go into. Ooh, the door's been unlocked, which means we can... Ooh, I know where we are. I actually know where we are now. Over there is where we had our first uh, boss battle. Oh, sweet, okay. So where are we now? Money? Is this a bank? Are we, are we robbing a bank? Cover letter. Let's have a look. Okay. Cover letter. Cover letter, cover letter, cover letter, cover letter. Huh? Okay. It wasn't there at all. Hmm. Anything at the end here? Nope. Ah, people we can talk to, finally. Hello, sir. Who are you? Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed. Proper company. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? <laughs> the name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Okay. Uh, are you a vigilante? Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? Okay. You're a concerned criminal. So you're a concerned criminal. Is that it? <laughs> Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. Oh, oh you sick you. burn! But, nah. You've been a soldier. I can respect that. 
It's the sickest of birds and we got away with it. <laughs> so, tell me about your gang then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet oh, yeah. boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. Okay. About this part of town. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And if Weena says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. <laughs> more efficient? Mm. Really? Yeah. We okay. should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Ain't fighting a pandemic Incredible. with guns. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My <laughs> sweet queen of the docks. Okay. Personal questions. None of that. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Dickman. Kill everyone. No pandemic. <laughs> I mean, the logic is sound. The logic is sound. Okay, so this fella that we just met, who is he? That's him there. He's healthy. She's unknown. Oh yeah, we, we met the um, the doctor, didn't we? There he is. And he is healthy. Sound. Okay. So Edwina we need to talk to. It's locked, all right. Okay, let's open from this side. So you have to go around the other side to open it up. Something's oh, there she is. My guess is they're recruiting for some vengeance. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. As friendly as any Londoner. <laughs> the Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, miss. Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Okay. Have a chat. Tell me about your work. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know? Okay. You're quite a blunt woman. You're quite blunt, aren't you? <laughs> I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not at all interested. That's the only... Uh, I mean, I, I would like to be interested. I, I like quests. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then. That's what she said. Or worse. <laughs> Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Uh huh. About this part of town. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. True. Thank you, somebody in particular. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. 
That's that is a new low. Whatever. True that. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. A quest. Nice. Is that not a little bit excessive? Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. <laughs> this region only responds to violence and threats. I mean, okay. Um, hint required for that bit. Personal questions, let's go. The feeling about Booth Digby. Booth Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. Hmm. I think you manipulated him. I believe you manipulated Booth Digby to get everything you wanted from him, both inside and outside the bedroom. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. Okay. And that's a first. So you're just like any other couple, <laughs> after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. Fair enough. About the man you killed. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. Okay. What happened exactly? What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you mm. have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory, and this is our law. Okay. No issues of uh, conscience. And your <laughs> conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Apparently, we just can't understand how she can just kill a man. Okay. I'm looking for, I'm looking for Sean Hampton. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Okay, let's see if she's all right. Can I offer you my medical help, Miss Cox? I'm fine, thank you. All right, she's fine. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Right. Who else can we speak to? The sewer dog's fault, you look right? new, and you've had a drink, by the looks of things, sir. These Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognise me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take you personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting oh, it's what him. I did the night before. He was in yes, the bar. You had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. Okay. Your life in London. Uh, what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. What a life. What a life. <laughs> Why drink so much? Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Oh dear. Don't you work at all? Don't you work at all? It's hard work drinking this much. I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon. I'll drink at night. <laughs> no, no time to get to get any work done. Oh, man, he, he's he's talking me into having a drink. I've still got some rum down here. I could I could have a bit of a drink. It'd be nice. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town, except for the cheap drinks? I mean, how dare you say such a thing? I <laughs> love this neighbourhood. 
So friendly. So joyful. Oh, damn. He is so drunk, he can barely tell he's being massively, uh... What's the word? Sarcastic. No reason to rejoice at all. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. All about how your life got flipped turned upside down. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts, fire, broken window of the shoe shop, the torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Oh man. Yeah, he's basically just drinking himself to death. In progress suicide right here. And uh, Kenny still doesn't feel like alcohol after we had uh, many drinks on... Was it last week? Was it this time last week? We did booze control, it was, it was very fun. <laughs> Anything you like about this district? Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. Okay, I've so already friendly, heard this dialogue. So joyful. Why are you so cynical? Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. Absolutely. Okay. Personal questions. Uh, you must have had dreams when you were younger. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young. Oh man. Like everybody else. I sure. bet you were feeling a bit Boy, ill on Wednesday. On, uh, Wednesday. To really change. And a change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Okay. Were you an idealist then? Sounds like you were an idealist. Which is honourable. No, sir. I was an anarchist and I believed that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world True to that. rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Yeah, unfortunately, capitalists have too much influence. The world is, no is that bad? Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. Have some beers, a little peppermint, peppermint vodka on a night out. That's weird. Tell me about the, your anarchist, anarchist youth. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. You still see your comrades? Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. You believe in a bloodless revolution? Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. There we go. He's a he's a nice little anarchist. Right, Sean Hampton. Have you seen him? I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me then? About the sad saint. I'll try asking Tom what's about him. He owns the bar, doesn't he? Cool beans. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. All right. Shit. There seems to be an issue. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This he's, is the work of a vampire. He's been sucked off real hard. 
Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? That is absolutely a thing now. I know now. what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Ichabod Frogmorton. <laughs> that is not a real name. He made that name up. 100%. <laughs> Closer than you think. About you, this neighborhood. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor boy. Jack Gillingham. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. Oh dear. About your work. So... How exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Okay. Do you need help? Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. <laughs> uh, how do you identify a vampire? Well, this will be a good one. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, <laughs> I mean. Of, of course I have. What kind of question is that? He's lying. It's a dirty business, believe me. He, he lying. He, he's lying. He's, ne he's never even seen a vampire. He just... He likes the idea. Personal questions, let's go. Uh, about the Guard of Priwen. Have you heard of the Guard of Priwen? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> okay. Tempted to join the Guard, are you? Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. You hunt alone? So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Okay. What about Sean Hampton? Where is he? I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour, but I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. I respect your refusal. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. Oh no. By a priest of all people. I mean... The thing is though, it only strengthened his faith. And his anus. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, 
And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Oh, I wonder if he's got any uh, issues with his health. Um, nice, nah, healthy. He's good. All right, where's the bar at again? Um, oh, that's the bar right there. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, we've been here before, haven't we? Hey, you're right, Tommy lad. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Okay. About this part of town, let's go. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. Yes. How, uh, how do you keep this place open? How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. That's good. Hanging his point of view. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Is there anything I can do? Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. Let's get That's some fucking gin. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. Way. <laughs> You're something of a figurehead. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Okay. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? Setting off a bloody fire alarm, Kenny. Excellent cooking. Excellent cooking skills. Um, did he return to his flock? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Okay, I must find him quickly. The important thing is I find him quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Cheers, Mr. Watts. Now, the bar lady didn't like us last time we came, so... Are you stupid or something? Like these are good drinks just as lightly that Evening, miss. Problems. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Don't mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Okay. Your life in London. At the docks. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. Okay. 
I'm not afraid. I have nothing to fear from the people round here, miss. Yeah, I'm a brave woman myself, Dr. Reed, but I'd be a fool to think I'm invincible. Uh -huh. Out this pub. This place seems, how shall I put it, very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. Lovely. Bar neutral territory. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Boss be, your boss must be quite the negotiator. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Fair enough. Personal questions. Where are you from? Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? No. Don't judge anyone for their skin colour. Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the colour of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course Mr. Hampton. Sorry if I worried you. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Knows he? My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London. And here I am. Lovely. Do you need any, any medical assistance? Do you require medical assistance, Miss Cavendish? I'm fine, sir. Just have too much work on and not enough sleep. We do have medicine for that. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Fair enough. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. We already knew that anyway, so it's fine. All right, I'm going to go up to the room and see if there's anything to loot. Give me loot, give me loot, give me loot. Damn it, there's no loot. Right, so. There's the main quest there. Uh, where's the gin? So I want to do the gin at the moment. Not done enough dialogue wheels to uh, qualify for loot yet. <laughs> right. Where is the quest list? So they're your, your chapters. Um Okay. I guess we're going to head south because that's where we need to go for the main list, uh, the, the the main quest. So I'm going to go south and see what happens. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, there's just another way up there. Oh, hello. Yoink. 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 <laughs> just robbed you, Tom. Right, so this general vicinity over here. Oh, hello, mate. I've not met you before. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm <laughs> just being like polite. Some Fuck questions, off. <laughs> if I may. Don't like questions or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburne, if you must know. Yes. 
Seymour Fishburn. About this part of town. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Nice. Sounds nice. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Nope. Hate them all. Especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. Oh, okay. No one deserves your, len your leniency? Is there no one who deserves your leniency then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. Okay. What is your role around here? What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. That's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. Oh dear. Something bothering you, sir? You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Okay. I will find the necklace. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just want her to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated like. God knows she deserves it. All right. He's a mummy's boy. Right. Fair Goodbye, enough. Bye, Mr. Fishburne. We've met him. Um, I keep forgetting to check whether the uh, people need. I see a treatment for cold. Okay, that's... He needs a cold treatment. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> that's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah. I could use some help. On several matters, in fact. All right, let's give him some medicine. I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with. But it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. All right, fuck yeah, now. He's a bit cynical, Goodbye, this lad. Mr. Fishburn. But at least he's healing now, that's good. Right, can we go in here? No. Um, We can open this up. I believe we... This was one of the... Okay, we can go in there. That's a good thing. Is this the place we couldn't get get to before? Don't know. Where's the zoom in? Oh, it's the, it's the bumper buttons. Okay. Right. I'm going to go in this side door first. What's in here? Oh shit. This is the bridge. This is the bridge where we we started here. That's that's the area we started. Right. Okay. I want I want a list of all of the quests, please. If that's not too hard. Burgers done and a house not burned down. Excellent. So there's your main quest, but I want my other quest, please. All right, Tom gave us this. There's Tom Watts. There he is. Okay. Fuck's sake. Right. Okay. So that that's the way into the uh, to the bridge. This is this is how we came off the bridge before. Okay. Hmm. There must be a way around there. Yeah, I'm going to go and have a look around this way. Ooh, hello. Money. Also, I like the JPEG in the, uh, in the window there. <laughs> Rufus King Kingsbury's Shack. Limehouse Dock. Someone's shack, apparently, we're, we're next to. Ah, okay, so we can just go straight to the main objective if we want. Honestly, kind of don't want to. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's locked. So that's the shack. We can't go into it because it's uh, it's locked. We go underneath. Is there a way up? I don't think so. Damn it. Stop getting stuck. Okay, so that's what we were seeing on the other side. There's loot down there. There's loot. I want it. Can't teleport over there because there's a banister. Right, okay, there you go. We're going this way. Aha! I have found the way. Or have I? Yes, yes, I have. Mwahaha! <laughs> this is a slaughterhouse. Oh. Bloody necklace found from Seymour to my beloved mother Stella. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. It's locked, all right. Damn. Okay, well, that was a secret way, and I can go to. I can go and give the necklace back. Fishburn. Oh, we think he's been killing people. To every night, Madame. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. I found, I found the gift and the corpses. I have retrieved the gift for your mother, sir. Great. Give it here then, and take this for your trouble. I also found the corpses, the ones under which you left the necklace, Mr. Fishburn. Ah, so that's where I left it. I can be a bit stupid sometimes. Hmm. Okay. Have you no remorse? Have you no remorse? You don't even deny your crimes. I have many weaknesses, Dr. Reed, but lying about who I am ain't one of them. You're not a mindless animal, Seymour. Surely you have something to say about these murders. Speak up and I will listen without judgment. Could be right, Dr. Reed. Maybe it'll do some good to confide in a gentleman like you. You being educated and all. Hmm. Okay. Pleasure and care. Tell me about your victims. Tell me about your victims, Seymour. Who were they? Why them? Was there a link? Why should there be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times. That's all. Okay. How many victims? How many? How many victims? It's not like I keep records. It happens when it happens. Mm, no empathy at all. You feel nothing, do you? No empathy for your victims at all. You seem pretty calm yourself, don't you? We're not talking about me. All right. <laughs> well, our calm's the only thing we have in common then. Pleasure in killing? Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Stills the anger. For a time. Okay. So I'm just trying to put that out the way a bit. Is this your rage? This rage you feel. Have you ever been able to control it? Resist it? I... I tried. For my mum. I tried for a... Telling the truth made me feel better. For a while. Okay. You should seek help. Don't you think you should seek help? Talk to someone you trust. Someone who cares about you. No. And don't dare speak about me to your colleagues either. Keep your mouth shut tight. Especially about my mum. Hmm. Okay. I think once he's healed up from the cold, I think we're going to be killing him. Why is your mother protecting you? Why is
is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm her son. She's the only one who knows me. Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her, but can't you see the awful situation you've put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. Hmm. But death is an appropriate punishment. I understand her dilemma. I understand your mother's situation. Obtaining justice at the price of betraying her own flesh. It's quite a dilemma. It might be my mum's wish that I end up swinging from a hangman's noose. But she wouldn't want to be the one who ties a knot round my neck. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. So, what is his mesmerized level? Because I have a feeling... Three. So we just need to level up one more time, pretty much. And we'll we'll be able to get him. Also, his blood level is pretty good. Seems to have um, some problems in his head. Yes, he definitely did. Some anger issues. Sorry. What the fuck is that noise? I need to fucking leg it because I am about to die. These guys are way higher level than I am. Here we go. Now we're on it. There we go. Fucking dealt with. Join the ranks. There we go. Right, mate. Oh, do. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm not sure that's any of your business. I hope you realize that staying here will put your life at great risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen. Or whatever these thugs call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. I wasn't specifically referring to them, but are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. So I decided to come and find him myself. To get some answers. I see. But as I said, your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer, let's say. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. This isn't the best way to save Andrew. All right. You go home. I'll have a look in here. Wow. Did he, did, did he beat the shit out of this guy? Dang. Let's have a little look around. That's just glass on the floor. Shillings. Lovely little bit of money. Loads of money. I put my lamp on for a second there, but then I realised I'm not playing Golden Ring anymore. And the game's supposed to be this dark. Nothing there. Oh dear. Bloody letter. Dear mother, whatever happens to me, always remember that your son loves you. I know you did not always approve of the way that I chose to live my life, 
but I won't change. I was born and raised in this part of town, and I just can't stand the what's happening to my neighbourhood, the people we know. I recent, uh, recently made a terrible decision. I decided to strike back against the tyranny of a few. I know that they will retaliate, but I am ready for whatever comes. Thanks to you, I've always loved to read. Now that I'm about to take action, I can only quote um, Etienne de la, de la Boite. What, Boite? Don't know. Don't know how to pronounce it. I can only read it. They only seem tall because we're on our knees. I won't kneel anymore, mother. I intend to stand straight, whatever the cost. Goodbye, my beloved mother. Jack. There is a name engraved under the blood on the back of the case. Jack Gillingham. Maybe I should return this watch to his family. Indeed. We should definitely do that. Or maybe we should sell it to the pawn broker because he likes stealing stuff off corpses. Absolute waste. All right, so Gillingham. Who are the Gillinghams? Uh, we've met most people now. That's her. Enid Gillingham. Where does she live? I don't know because I've never met her. Can I can I speak to you now? Are you sure you'll be able to reach the docks alone? Young man, I am perfectly capable of defending myself. Alright, fair enough, mate. Enjoy. Oh, we've got some vamps over here. You right, mate? Oh, I killed him in one. Nice. Maybe I don't need to level up just yet. It would be kind of handy not to have to. Braille. Ooh, text in Braille. I need someone who can read this. I know who could read this. Text in Braille. I know someone who can read Braille because she is. Oh, actually, no. She's she's mute, not not blind. Hello, you. Fuck. Oh, piss off. I hate it when they do this. Fuck. Oh, fuck you so hard. Oh, piss off, really? I'll suck you back, you little bastard. Wow, okay. Suck you dry. There you go. Get some help in me. Shotgun shells, nice. That is useful. Okay, so there's a shed there. So we're supposed to be finding a uh, a warehouse that's got gin in it somewhere. No idea where. Yay, that's the door we wanted to unlock. Cool. Popular foul bird. Oh, it's a flamer. Look. Look at it. 
<laughs> Get sucked off, bitch. Fuck's sake. There you, there you go. Nom 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 nom. Yummy. Okay. I wonder where it is we are going. But that's the way back to the hospital, actually, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't think we want to go back there. Not just yes, anyway. Yeah, we went right before, didn't we? And this is the other way. Cool beans. I can hear a baby crying. Kind of disconcerting, I'm not gonna lie. Is there anywhere we didn't go in the actual town area? Anyone's house we didn't knock on? Any buildings we didn't go to? Yes, yeah, so those two have already spoken to them. Uh, there's the tavern. He's dead, that's fine. We went round there. Did we go around here? Did we go to here? Oh, there's a, there's a balcony up there I can probably get to. Um, there we go. What have we got up here? Oh, it's a, it's a safety room. Wait. Okay. Uh, we can tinker with stuff. Have a look for any loot. I think we've already looted this place. This is the first safe room we found. Okay. A headache. I need migraine medication. It should be one of these two. That one there. Okay. So, got this uh, this Prewin steak. Can I do that yet? No. I need tiny handle parts. Let's recycle some bits and pieces. Right, tiny Prewin steak. No, nope, still can't do it. My Hexel. Can I make that level three yet? I can. Nice. Okay. Very handy. Um, aluminium shards. So that, that, that makes damage better. That increases blood absorp absorption. Okay. I think we're just going to go for more damage. Nice. So I could level up here. Let's have a look at the. Let's have a look at the um, the district. It says it's stable. So Enid calling um, killing him. We need to find her. She's got some ailment going on. To find Dyson Delaney, to be honest. I don't know where he's gone. He's fatigued anyway. Yeah, don't mind that. That, that, that wasn't vampire behaviour. Don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> okay, did we go this way? I don't think we did actually. We didn't go this way. So, let's have a look. Where's Gillingham at? That door's not knockable. Okay, well I think we've finished the, the area now. Wee! Western Dock, so that's the um, the place. That's the place where we need to go to. Another disgusting ghoul. Get him 
I was gonna say, they're, they're just having a smoke while that beast is just like. nomming. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna let the uh, let them have a fight. You like beastie boy? Ah shit! Oh fuck! I'm about to die. Holy shit. Got him. Had to use some shotgun shells to do it. But we did the job. Nice. Oh, nice, we picked up some shotgun shells. That is very nice. Oops, fuck. I could press the A button, that'd be nice. Right. So this is, this might be the warehouse. This is a warehouse. Um, hey, it does been unlocked, which means we, this is the one actually. This is definitely the one. Nice. Alright, we need to find some... some gin. Is this it? There it is. Alcohol. He could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Whoa! There we go. Let's go back to Tom and say, Here's your gin, mate. Here's your fucking gin. Gonna have an old, a good old knees up. And all that. All that cockney shit. Alrighty then. Let's carry on wandering around. I'm sure we're gonna find what we need. Hmm. I don't think we want to have a fight here. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, I'm slightly on fire here. Damn it, I missed it. Come on. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Get wrecked. They're dead. Right. Already been there. Uh, is that a gate that I can open? Might be. Doesn't look like it, actually. No. I'm pretty sure this is where we were. Yeah, this is this is where we um that, that warehouse there's where we had the fight with the uh, first boss. There's another way there. Is this a way to open? It's locked all right. Damn, there's another from this side. Can we get it from the other side? I don't think we can go around there just yet. I like to open up all of the map, you know? Weird like that. 
Ooh, hello. Ooh. Raise. I need a little bit of uh I cannot enter. Damn. Okay, let's go hand in the uh the gen. Oh shit. Where am I? Oh yeah. That's where Tom's at. It's over this way. Limehouse Dock. Right, let's go back to the... Pub's over here, I think. Pub's over somewhere. Oh, hello. Not been around here. Um, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? Wrong turn. Or you right turn. to fear from me. No, it's just that... People prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. Do they? I'm a doctor. Is that right, mate? My name is Rufus, so Rufus Kingsbury. Okay. Your life in London. Um, about this part of town. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Nice. Ever thought about leaving? Uh, why do they avoid you, first of all? Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. The Curse? Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Really? Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. Okay. What do you do around here? What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Do you have a job? Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. Hmm. Any rumours? What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. Okay. Personal questions, let's go. Are you alone? Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough? No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. Okay. It's tragic. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. All right, then. Do you need any medical assistance? Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. Okay, what do you need? Because I will give you medicine. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Treatment for anemia. Nice. So that's long, that's the first time we've given anyone Be treatment for, for that. And every death. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a quick look at him. Is that all he had? Yeah, nice. He's recovering. Love that for him. Let's go in here. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. Let me in. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburn. Stella Fishburn. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? There you go. I'm not sure the epidemic is what worries people most these days. Right, let me just, uh, before we have a chat, let's, uh, let's just rob you blind. 
Yoink. 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 Thief. <laughs> well, there you go. Yes, th this house is is free of the of the flu. You have no flu in this house. Well, hang on, let me just check this cupboard to see if there's any flu in there. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. Please don't stay too long, sir. So you have questions about the flu, then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers. <laughs> we will be drinking house. blood, don't you worry. We're healing. We're healing people. How is your life here? How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? I guess it is, yeah. The epidemic rates violence? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know, but it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Violence feed on, feeds on poverty. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you could just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. Okay. What do you do for a living? May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Nice. Okay. Your husband died in the war. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. Oh bloody hell. How'd you pay the rent? How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. Okay, this has put us in a little dilemma. Even though she knows her son has killed, she's kind of... She kind of needs this, the kid to live. Is of why she'd be homeless. Hmm, okay. Tell me about the orphan. The orphan that regards you as a mother. Please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. Oh dear. All right, personal questions. Your son is a murderer. Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood and you know it, don't you, Stella? One night, he told me straight up, in his own words. It was several days after one of his episodes. Why did he confess? Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. I guess he wanted his old mum to help him fight his, uh, demons. Did Seymour tell you everything? Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. The words he used to describe his hate, his rage. How he feels when he's done it. Oh dear. About Seymour's demons. Tell me about these demons Seymour needs your help to fight. Seymour used to be such a happy child. And he is still a helping son most of the time. But when he gets angry... Because he, <laughs> he was being questioned to rage. death a bit like you're doing to me All now. <laughs> men and women are born innocent, Mrs Fishburne. There can be a monster within any of us. Do you think he can be cured, Doctor? 
Do you think something can extinguish this rage inside my Seymour? Um, should I try and put her mind at rest, or should I... He is fully responsible. I'm afraid these demons, as he calls them, are just a delusional justification to distance himself from his actions. There ain't no hope, then. Somehow, somewhere, my son has turned into a monster, and nothing will bring him back. Why do you protect Seymour? Stella, I know you are ashamed of your son's crimes. So why do you protect Seymour? Needs the money. I can't report my own son, can I? Not a burden I could bear. Burden? How do you mean? They'd hang him for sure. I won't send my only son to his death. You're not responsible. I'm convinced you raised Seymour the best you could. You're not responsible for what he became. If someone ever found the courage to speak to the police, I will take my share. All right. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. All right, then. Damn it. I'm not sure the epidemic is what worries people most these days. Okay, so, we've spoken to her, we've spoken to him. Um, where the, ah, there you go, tavern! Yeah! Let's hand him all of the gin in the world and get our reward. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? I've got your gin! You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those Prewin guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, <laughs> Doctor. But it, it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. DL, here's your booze. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. Alrighty then. I haven't unlocked any hints for that, but there you go. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Mission complete. And a shitload of shillings acquired. Right. I've offered a drink to the boy. I need a piss. So I'm going to go take a little breaky break, and when we come back, we're going to go and have a look at what's uh, what's happened to our dear old priesty priest. See you in a minute.